What's up guys, welcome back to Desert Ranger. So now we're into that second stage of a series where we have to figure out some long-term goals so that it doesn't become boring me just playing seven days to die for no reason. So while I wait for the trader to open here, I thought I would explain some of the goals we'll have for the series. So one of the goals I'm of course going to have is going to be to repair the ranger station and make it nice and livable. For that, I'm gonna need some paint though and probably an excess of concrete because I wanna level it all up to concrete so that it can actually withstand some attacks. Another Another goal is going to be to get a big horde base set up that can survive like a day 70 horde or something like that. And another goal I want to do is to show off all the tier 5 POIs in the game. Now obviously my map might not have them all. For example I have not seen the apartment building in Alpha 20 at all and it just went very dark. But it is a tier 5. It just doesn't seem to spawn anywhere. But all the tier 5 POIs at least on this map I want to show off. Oh my god. What is this rain doing? This is a desert series, come on! Anyway, I want to do all the tier 5 POIs that are on the map, so that'll probably be like Deshong Tower, Agashi Pharmaceuticals, Crackabook Tower, maybe the Shotgun Messiah, maybe the Shamway Factory, maybe the new Pop and Pills Factory. If the apartment's on this map, we'll do that one as well, and I think that's all the tier 5 POIs. Oh, and the hospital. What we're gonna do today though, zombie dog, what we're gonna do today though is fight this horde of zombie dogs. And then we're going to do a bunch of tier 4 POIs, because I need rewards. Because we're going to need better equipment and we're going to need more XP. Now come on dogs. Also, I'm apparently hungry and I didn't bring any food. Great. Outstanding start. Well then, that was a very interesting way to start the day. Let's go get some jobs. So, let's see. Let's do the closest fetch clear first. It looks like one I might have done before, so we can maybe speedrun it. Yep, it's this house again. Right, well, as is the protocol, I'll do this one extremely quickly. But you guys don't have to sit through too much of the same. Really quickly in the middle of this POI here, I got a skill point and I'm not sure what I want to put it into. It might be wise to start going into Daring Adventurer, but it would also be pretty smart to start pushing towards 7 agility and getting and getting Gunslinger to 4, Deep Cuts to 4, maybe Run and Gun maxed out, maybe Flurry of Blows maxed out, maybe Light Armor maxed out, and also some more Parkour at level 8. think I want more Daring Adventurer, because that is a very good perk, and you'll see why at some point in this series. We'll just have to wait for the good rewards to come in. Oh, I'm really sad. I got some nerdy glasses, but like, the agility goggles are also really helping me right now. Wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. Are the agility goggles helping me? Honestly, not really. I might lose a rank of parkour, but getting one intellect and 10% XP might be worth that. Okay, so we keep our rank of parkour, and we need to get a lot more points to get to agility 7. That definitely cements my decision that I'm staying in intellect for the next little bit here then. Okay, coming up on this room again. Let's see if we can replicate what I did last time. Oh, hello. Um, okay. Let's aim a bit closer to his face. That was a weird one. Oh, battle. Ow. Really? Another one? Another one? How many ferals are in there? Whoa. Three ferals. Also, I forgot this bag. Right, we're clear. Let's go see the loot we get from here then.
Okay, let's test out the time charges again because I left my lock picks in the motorcycle. Take a little step back. How much damage did that do? Okay, so it'll take a couple of these. Still locked. Okay, it looks like one of those didn't actually do damage. So we'll do it one at a time. That is a hard chest. So we got a beaker, muffled connector, schematic, advanced connectors, leather leg armor, first aid bandage, some ammo, and money. Nice. Hopefully the reward is something actually useful this time and not like a level 6 stun baton. Incredible. Level 4 steel club, level 6 that. steel shovel. Hmm. Well, if I was playing a club's build this would be great, but I'll take the steel shovel. It's at least useful. For now. Till I get an auger. See, I'll sell him that shovel as well because it's kind of worth it. What does he have? Did this is kind of close. Is that the same house again? Glad you came. I swear. It is the damn same house again, just in a different location. Hugh, what is this about, man? What's your issue? Right, well, since I've done this twice now, and this is going to be the third time, I am completely just going to skip over this for you guys. I'll meet you guys in the loot room. And here is the final loot room. Not much interesting happened during the rest of the POI. I didn't bring enough time charges, by the way, to open this properly. So I'm probably going to have to do like three time charges and then bash it open with the iron pickaxe, which is not going to be fun. Pistol Pete Volume 2, successive leg shots, useless. If you're aiming anywhere but the head, you're doing it wrong. Three rocket launcher parts, I mean, sure, I'll take them. Ooh, a double armor pocket mod. Can I put that on anything? Oh yeah, my boots. Here we go. Right, let's see. Ah, uh, we got it about halfway, let's bash open the rest. It's not going to be too bad with a pickaxe anyway. Nice, let's see what we get. Some more sewing kits, I have loads of these now, that's very nice. Another beaker, more money, more rocket launcher parts, cooling mesh, some ammo. Not great, but not terrible at all. Let's get out of here. And I swear, if the next one I do sends me to the same House Mansard 2, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I can one-shot this now. Nice. Right, where's the motorcycle? Before I do anything, remember to grab the lockpicks so that the next thing I open does it properly. And let me eat that. Okay. Right, let's go back to Trader Hugh. See if we can get a POI that isn't this one. I bet he'll send me to that high school or something. Oh, I'm not bad. Okay, not so great. we get a stun baton level 5 with 3 first aid kits or a triple armor pocket mod. I think I'm going to go for the pocket mod, to be honest with you. These are some terrible tier 4 rewards. Possibly the worst tier 4 rewards I've ever had. I need to make a single clothing pocket mod for these bottoms. I could run around getting all the mailboxes until I got Needle and Thread Volume... What was it? Needle and Thread Volume 7. That would be useful. So we might want to check out all the mailboxes to get that and max out my inventory completely pretty quickly here without needing to go into pack mule. Also I'm going to put a point here into intellect. That's going to unlock nothing because I'm going to need four to get dating adventure or two and that's what I want so hmm. Anyway let's do fetch clear here. House old tutor one. What's the matter? Chicken? I've never heard that voice line but it was amazing. Right, let's do fetch clear at the Tudor 01. I think that's the colloquially known as the house on the hill. Kind of a big one and we probably will end up doing half of it during the night, but that's fine, that's fine. I'm going to check in at my base really quickly because it's on the way there and I'll dump some stuff and grab some of the things I forgot to bring the last time. And I'll meet you guys over at House Tudor 01. Okay, so while I'm at my base here, I have realized that officially these three boxes are filled and that means it's time to make some storage. I'll do that when I come back from this POI, of course. In the meantime, I'm going to tell the forge here to just make me a bunch of nails. Um, 500 might be a bit much, but you know what? It's fine. We have plenty more iron where that came from, so we'll be good. Right, back to that POI. Here we are. Now this is a fun POI. Ah. 
It was hiding behind a painting all along. Anybody back here? Oh, hello, Arlene. Can we... Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. I got a glancing blow on her. Right then, let's break through this, because I see medicine and I'm a drug addict. Nice, painkillers. It all paid off. I'll tell you what, those points and pistols are doing really nicely for me. Advanced fellows, nice. Attracting stock, not awful. The structural brace and the stun baton, decent. I mean, the stun baton's kind of useless because you can learn that with the perk, but still. These are all great bookcases. This is better than going to crack a book. Compound bow schematic. That would be so good if I had actually put any points into bows, but <laughs> I'm just using my sneak damage. Wrench schematic. <laughs> Not exactly useful now, but I'll take it. Okay, Zelda bookcases. That was some decent loot. Anybody in here? Nope, let's grab this ammo and medicine. Okay, the game is really preparing me for what's going to be down here. But I know for a fact it's not that bad. You can go up, by the way, and get like a secret stash, but as you can see, I just fell. So I don't know if I can... Uh, we could pillar it. I don't know if there's any way to do this without pillaring. Maybe with a higher level of parkour or something, I don't know. Or is it? Yeah, it looks like it's just a hidden stash. Wasteland Treasures Volume 3, the one that gives you all the acid from everything. Fantastic. I mean, acid is nowhere near as rare as it once was, but that makes acid even more common, so I will accept it. I forgot that that was not going down to the bottom. <laughs> right, let's fight. Ow. Stabbed in the back. You coward. Oh, he bled out. <laughs> I woke up some of them, but I can still get some sneak attacks at the back there, I think. If I aim it properly anyway. Can I thread this needle? I can. I don't think I'm going to be able to stealth attack any more of them. Nice, he bled out. They're all bleeding out now. <laughs> so now we're coming up on this kind of final boss room almost. Kind of a scary room. Might want to make some <laughs> makeshift defenses here. Did I bring my hammer? I did. Oh, nice. We got a skill point. Right, let's put that into intellect again, and then the next one can go into daring adventurer. Right then. Yeah, that's a room full of guys. Who do we want to target? He's not going to die from this. She might. He didn't, but it was worth a shot. Shoot him. Let's get a sneak attack on everybody. And then line them all up. So I've sneak attacked four of them. None of them have died because I've not put any points into archery here, so it's not great. But we're doing a lot of damage to them, so they'll be very weak when the fight actually starts. Hello. Fight has actually started. Yep, that's worked pretty well, actually. Softened them up. Hello, cop. You, I didn't soften up. You, I should be worried about. He's gonna pop. Is that feral coming out of there? Looks like it. Nice. Yeah, I think we're done. Honestly, that room wasn't too bad, but if you just open the door and start shooting, it does get pretty ugly sometimes. More acid. Sledge turret. Burning shaft. Double armor pocket mod schematic. That might be worth making a couple of those. I'll probably wait until the triple armor schematic, actually. I don't want to waste all my duct tape and sewing kits on that. Gas. 
can't believe I stopped in at my base and forgot to get food. I'm still sitting here hungry. Oh, it was almost first try. Okay, the well, lock picking's being nice today. So, more sewing kits. Night Stalker 1, do 10% more sneak damage in night. Uh, acid again. More money, more ammo, armor parts, and a weapon mod. I'm gonna scrap that. And. What does that give you? I have two burning shafts. Oh, well, now you know it's a real problem. Let's put them on my tools. Useful for making things light when you're digging at night, actually, putting a burning shaft on a tool. Right, let's get out of here. We'll need to pop that button on. Seriously, why is it. Why is it a different block if it's got the same health as all the blocks around it? You're just baiting me. Oh, hello. I doubt she was alone, though. Here we are, more of them. Right then, well, that was successful. How many tier 4s did I get done today? So, let's call it 3 today, 2 yesterday. If we can get two more done tomorrow, we'll unlock tier 5s on day 10. That's not a bad place to be. Right, let's head back to the base. Oh my god, the storage situation is just out of control. Right then, so I have a bunch of wood and this was making me a bunch of nails, so I think it's time we made some storage containers in the basement and got to work. I can make 50, I'll make 25 in my inventory, and 25 in the workbench inventory. And I need some food. Right then, while I wait for those to craft, do I know how to make a cement mixer yet? No, that's kind of annoying. Why have I not found a cement mixer schematic yet? Well, in that case, we can go for advanced engineering too after we've done dating adventure or two. That's probably a good idea, actually. That's going to let me craft up some cement mixers because I have the engines and the other ingredients are kind of easy to find, so it shouldn't be an issue. Also, I have a single pocket mod in this hood here. And yeah, my legs don't have a pocket mod in them. That's a good start. Uh, you know what? I have three minutes while I wait for those boxes to craft. While we're expanding our storage in that way, we could go into the town and hunt down the mailboxes. And that's going to give me a very high chance of finding ranger books, which I'm using archery, uh, spear books, which I can sell, and needle and thread books, which mostly I can sell, or if I find volume 7, I can make double clothing pocket mods which would give me another three inventory slots. And I suppose it wouldn't be a terrible idea to upgrade all of my armor to having double armor pocket mods. It would probably unlock almost all of my inventory and just sort that problem out entirely. But that does depend on me finding volume seven of needle and thread, which might not happen, but it's pretty common nowadays in these mailboxes. I just have to go find some mailboxes. Bloody desert. I'm not finding any books, and this is so weird because in my own personal world, every mailbox I open has a book in it. That is very odd indeed. Barrel extender schematic. Here we go, spear hunter. So it's proof it can be done, but I'm just not getting any good luck. Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume 1, take 20% more bolts back, nice. Archery Volume 7, 20% greater chance of knocking down, nice. Needle and Thread Volume 6, that's so close to being the right one, why do you bully me game? Needle and Thread Volume 3, footwear, again, not helpful, I'll just sell it. I think I'm done with this little neighborhood here. I did a big loop of this whole area here. There's more out there, but it looked mostly empty, so I'm gonna go somewhere else. Needle and Thread Volume 7, let's go! I knew it! I'm so smart. I came to this little town to the west here. The one slightly closer to my house, actually. I'm still interested in archery books, though, so maybe I should keep going. 
I should probably get that storage system and stuff set up. We can come back here later and continue looking for those. So yeah, mailboxes are now a fantastic source of the archery book, the spear book and needle and thread. And the big one you want is that Needle and Thread Volume 7. It's going to let you craft double clothing pocket mods, and that is six inventory slots right there. Okay, let's take my 25 of these and 25 of these and go into the basement and see what we can do here. Because there's a nice little storage room basically built in. Uh, let me bring up my shovel for some light. There's a nice storage room basically built in here that we can use. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we line all of this up with storage containers and we use this area for crafting later once I patch that all up. So let me start by taking this out. Okay, each of these can fit nine of these boxes inside. That's pretty nice. In fact, I don't think I need to go and fully expand this. I'll just put these boxes in here for later. So let me put this as blocks. Medicine. Ammo. Materials. Weapons. Slash tools. Parts. Food. Clothing. And armor. And finally, mods. And later we can expand that, take some of these categories and narrow them down in the other parts. Let's start to transfer the storage down here then. I'm also really quickly going to get a box here. I'm going to put it there and call it Trader, just for things I need to sell and to store my money in. So I can take my books here, my money, and I think that's all I really have to sell right now. But that's fine. Oh, and do that. Great. Okay, that is everything moved down from upstairs. We have our boxes here sorted out. Mods is empty because I didn't actually have any mods, but you know, it's fine. I've had to make some compromises on materials. Usually I split my materials into like 10 other boxes, but right now I clearly don't need that. So my last thing I need to do here is get all my stuff back that I kind of just dumped in here because I don't have the inventory locking. So I kind of just dumped everything for the sake of uh, time so that I wasn't constantly fiddling with everything. That should be enough there though. Right then guys, I think that is where I'm going to have to end the episode. Otherwise, the video might get a bit too long and we'll be encroaching on the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching episode 8 of Desert Ranger and I'll see you in episode 9 where we're going to be finishing off those tier 4 jobs and maybe with the rest of my day I can do some renovations to the ranger station here. Thank you to my channel members for making these videos possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Desert Ranger.